Hello, children of the corn. Today, homesteading on a dime is trying to find the damn one. So I don't. So it looks like I'm looking right at you. I have a hard time doing that, and I don't know why, because I hate looking at me. But anyway, today, homesteading on a dime is going to do a little cooking show for you. Yay! I hope the light is a, a little bit better than in that last video I did. It is the last day of February 2020, and we're gaining a lot of light today. We're going to try to do this inside, and I hope it works out. Uh, what we're going to be making today is a dish called Boiled Dinner. What's boiled dinner? It sounds disgusting, but actually it's pretty good. It's uh, it's really basically just a stew with very simple ingredients. Used to eat it quite a bit when I was a kid. I never pr appreciated it as much as I do now. Of course, being an adult, you kind of uh, regress just a little bit and remember the good old days that you didn't really think were good old days. But like I said, it's basically just a very simple stew made with ham. You can use other meats, but the traditional way where I grew up used a bone-in ham. I don't have a bone-in ham here, so we're going to cheat just a little bit. It's got carrots, potatoes, and cabbage in it as well. You can even throw some onion in there too. And uh, basically just mix that all into a pot with some water, bring it to a boil, and then I'm going to put mine in the wood stove actually after a while just because I don't want to burn up a lot of propane. So let's take a look at the ingredients. We'll get them all chopped up. We'll fire up the wood stove, get it roaring really good, and we're going to make some dinner. Okay, here's the basic ingredients, minus the ham, of course. We're going to use some potatoes, some carrots, and cabbage. Now, I'm going to chop these all up, and we're going to start the cooking process here in about 10 minutes. Okay, here we have a really nice light when we're not doing it on selfie cam. Uh, we got the potatoes. I had to use a russet because I just didn't have enough of the red potatoes. You know, it really doesn't matter. Uh, we always used russets when I was a kid because that's what we had in the garden. Uh, got the cabbage, got the carrots all chopped up. Uh, the ham is not prepared yet, but we're going to throw this in the Dutch oven and put her on the stove and bring her to a boil. Holy buckets, that light is bright. See if we can do this handheld. We're going to throw the carrots in. I realize I did not clean off the top of my counter <laughs> this morning, so please forgive the little bit of spattered grease from my popcorn pan last night. The way we just throw everything in there, I'm going to have to add more water, of course. And, uh, Let's go and get us some taters. We're just gonna do this. Look at that. That's the way we used to make boiled dinner in the army. I'm just kidding. We never had boiled dinner in the army. We never had anything that good. Okay, we're gonna put the pot top on. Dutch oven on the stove. Better come to a boil. Now, the um, ham is outside frozen, so I'm gonna bring it in, thaw it out just a little bit, and cut her into some big chunks and throw her in there too. Well, there we put all the ingredients except the ham, which is sitting right behind me right there, thawing out a little bit uh, into the Dutch oven. I can hear it starting to boil now, so I'm just going to give it a stir and um, let it do its thing. I'll end up putting some spices in here in a little bit as soon as things start to soften up. Now, this is not a recipe for uh, uh, the boiled dinner. There's tons of recipes out there. Uh, this is just the way we made it when I was a kid. You can, you'll can you find uh, recipes using lots of different types of meat. Uh, 
stuff. We used ham because that's what was most available to us. It was the most affordable. We didn't come from a rich family. Uh, we weren't poor, but you know, we, we, we ate pretty simply really and ham with a big ham bone in it. That's what we used. Uh, we cut our vegetables up a little bit smaller and made it more like a stew. You can see, uh, I've got a video I watched here a while back where everything was pretty much a, a complete potato, a complete carrot, stuff like that. We didn't do it that way. We cut ours into smaller uh, chunks. Now the potatoes, a lot of people know that when you when you boil those and, and heat them up, they start to disintegrate a little bit. And that's what thickens the water to make it more of a more of a stew than just pulling out the vegetables out of the stock water and and putting them on a plate. You can eat this type of boiled dinner uh, in a bowl. Like I said, it's like a bowl of stew. That's the way we ate it when I was growing up, and that's the way I, I want to make it. Anyway, we're going to continue monitoring uh, the Dutch oven, which is just off to my left, your right. Uh, as soon as the ham thaws out just a little bit, we're going to cut it into nice bite-sized chunks and uh, throw that in there and then let it boil a little bit more. And then we're going to switch over to the wood stove and just let that kind of cook all day. Now that it's getting warmer out, it's about zero out right now, so it's warming up pretty fast. Uh, we'll just let that kind of do our version of the slow cooker kind of thing all day. We'll take it out and stir it up, let those potatoes disintegrate, and it'll thicken the water. And then I'll start adding whatever spices I decide to put in. But that's the basic recipe if you want to make it this way. You know, add it's, it's your boiled dinner. Put in whatever you want. So anyway, I'm going to start to go back to listening to the radio. It's a Saturday. Um, keep an eye on this. And then we will just uh, see what transpires here in about half hour. I'm thinking this is going to turn out pretty pretty dang good. Um, got a long way to go, though. But as soon as these things start to soften up, I'll keep stirring it. Make, that, uh, make those potatoes disintegrate. Throw that ham in there, and by the time we're done, this should be a really nice uh, boiled dinner stew. Voila. Dun, dun, dun. It's been boiling for a little while now. Holy buckets, look at that. Um, the carrots are getting soft. Whoop. Sorry about that. Ta-da. And so are the taters. Going to let them boil for another couple minutes and give them a good stir and I can already tell that uh, the potatoes are coming apart just a little bit. It's looking a little little cloudy. That water's getting a little cloudy and a little thicker. We're going to transfer everything over to the Dutch oven here, or not the Dutch oven, but the wood stove here in a little bit. So we'll get that fire built up good so it can uh, stay nice and hot. We will uh, uh, Put the ham in here in a little bit and then just let her cook all day and see what we come up with. Okay, we must be gaining light because, oh, look at um, my, oh no, I just <laughs> dropped a bunch of ashes on the top of my Dutch oven onto my, my plate. That's okay. Uh, I added the, the pork in there, the ham. I added one more small potato because uh, as the potatoes are going to disintegrate, I'm going to lose potatoes, right? So I added one more. It's boiling up nice. Uh, I'm going to now I'm going to throw this into the wood stove and let it finish. I add, added more water too and it might be a little bit too much, but if I keep the, the lid off just a little bit, that water will cook cook off a little bit. So, But it might be just right. I've never done this in a wood stove before, so we're just going to play it by ear. We're doing this together for the first time. i got to go and clean. i got some ash and stuff on a potato. i got to clean that out of there. Ew! Hey, if you're wondering what I did with the uh, the extra cabbage that I did not use, I made coleslaw. Um, it's pretty simple coleslaw. I had um, uh, kind of a backstory. I had a jar of mayonnaise up here, which I unfortunately I got to take it up off the floor one very cold night, and it froze. And it does not reconstitute well. It's really runny and icky instead of you know thick and creamy. So that was unusable. However, I did have a few packets of uh, the the mayonnaise you get at the you know convenience stores, stuff like that, and a few packets of ranch dressing. So that's that's what it is. It's uh, two packages of uh, ranch dressing and three packages of mayonnaise. 
And uh, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like cold slaw. And now we're just going to take our concoction and throw it inside the wood stove over here in the corner and let that cook a while. We'll take it out every uh, 10 minutes or so and stir it around and see what she looks like in a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. You better check this. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. That is perfect. Perfect. We're going to let this cool off a little bit and try some. We'll have to pardon the position of the camera. I cannot do this just by holding my, I should say my phone. This looks pretty, pretty much like what I was describing. I should add a little bit more water maybe to it for the next batch, but I'm going to have me a bowl of that. What do you think? And there we have it. Uh, turned out nice and thick just like I was describing. I could actually put a little bit more water in there when I uh, heat it up for for dinner but like I said it comes out more like a stew. It should be absolutely delicious. There's going to be all that ham and of course the taste of the cabbage in there. I am really looking forward to lunch guys and I'm going to have some of this and wrap up the video. Well, there you have it, guys. Boiled dinner. Very simple recipe. You can use the ingredients I uh, recommended, or you can go online and use brisket or, or whatever they recommend. We always did it with ham. That's the way I, I know how to make it. I did leave out the onions just because I might give some of the juice when I reconstitute it, pour it over my dog's food. And as you all know, onions are very bad, even in small quantities, for your dog. So don't poison them because they love you. Anyway, I'm going to have lunch. Then I'm going to sit here and look forward to dinner. I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it helpful, informative, and somewhat entertaining. There's more stuff coming. Please like, please subscribe, please hit the notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.